Hey, how's it going, everybody? Sarasota Tim and Miss Tammy on Noisy Lake Avenue, coming back from Lake Worth Beach, and we're just walking and talking about you guys. Sweating to death, she says. And uh, Miss Tammy, you know, she reads the comments and I read the comments. And a lot of you people have been asking to uh, share with you, like, how we met. You want to tackle that one, Miss Tammy? Or what you want? What you're willing to share? No. <laughs> Tammy says no. She's shy about talking. Forty years ago, that's all I can say. Forty. <laughs> Forty Whoa. years. Yeah. I was like 21. He was like 21 and a half, 22. Let's walk over here away from the noise and the okay. traffic so they can hear your yeah. voice. So we were both young in our 20s. What happened after that? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. Let's see the version we want you to know versus the version that actually happened. No, that's just a joke. I'm just joking. I didn't even like him. <laughs> there it is. Now she's being honest. He was a cocky car salesman. That's what I thought. That was oh, my opinion. That now don't make don't everybody don't give everybody the wrong opinion. But I mean, they love oh, me right now. Very self-assured. Um, Let's you know. sit down right here and just let me just hear what you got to say. Know, that's all I'm saying. We may or may not post this, Miss Tammy. Oh, I'm saying. You know, I've said that a million times. All right. So <laughs> she sweaty. found me uh, a very. Uh, take my glasses off. She found me kind of uninteresting, I, I can take it. A kind of a cocky person. I told you guys I sold cars for 17 years. And um, you care to tell everybody, like, how did you know me when I was a car salesman? Well, I worked at a big bank on the intercoastal in Delray, and I worked with his then wife. He was, you know, like 21 and a half. I was 21. They were married, I was married. And I was very good friends with him. And he wasn't home most of the time. He was always at the car dealer because he worked nine to nine, something like that. He was never home. But I visited her all the time. And when he came home, I left because whatever, I wasn't interested. But <laughs> anyway, years and years went down the road and they got divorced. Then he married somebody else. Sorry to keep yeah, they, <laughs> we weren't they, even friends. They've heard the story. We uh, weren't Tammy. even in we weren't even in touch. No, we, we were out of touch for quite a while during those times. And then he's just come visit me and my family lots of times. He's with my me. with my new then next wife. Yeah. A couple of visits, not he had a next wife and then they got divorced and he had a girlfriend. Yeah. And he brought, he brought her to see me and my family visit because we were just friends. Yeah, um, uh, let me try to fill in the blank there. What but happened? He's known me since before I had any children, and my oldest child would be like forty. She's gonna be forty. No, I'm talking about my oldest oh. child would have been. Yes, oh uh, Tammy did have a child that passed that at very a very young age with a with a terrible illness, mm -hmm. but uh, we won't go into that. The fact is, I have known Miss Tammy prior to any of her children mm -hmm. being born. For example, her daughter, who I cleaned her Cadillac Escalade yesterday, who's done very well for herself. All her children, if I can brag on Miss Tammy, are all college educated. They're all doing very well in their careers. And two are married, one is single. And when they were growing up, I was kind of like, what, like a kind of an uncle, you know, to them. Uh, just like I'm kind of the honorary grandfather, Pop Tim, to uh, Savannah and Skylar, who we introduced you to yesterday. And they love me to death. And um, so we, I don't want to take the camera away from her, but I don't need it. <laughs> she doesn't need it. So we'll, we'll just, you know, we'll just kind of wrap it up. Some people are just curious. So that's basically it. She worked with an ex-wife of mine. And then after uh, time went by, I started visiting and they kind of took a shine to me. And when they started having kids, I was fun with the kids. So they invited me to come around more often, and I did. Thanksgiving's, and Christmas. Thanksgiving's, all that. Everything. Yeah, every, basically every Thanksgiving and Christmas since <laughs> forever, I've, uh, I've been with her and her family. And then, um, you know, we all pass through in the world, and unfortunately, uh, some people's marriages do end in disillusion. And so hers ended, and we were already friends at that time. And we've shared with you guys about cruising. You wanna 
tell him how much you love cruising? She love started it. it. Love, love, love. I started and asked him to go on a cruise with my family, actually. He went with the kids right. and right. everything. Right. And then he went on another one with me and the kids. And then I said, we have a lot of fun together, so let's go. Just me and you. <laughs> I put pillows in the middle of the bed. I said, friends. Yeah, we were just we we were only. just friends. And I was fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, you want to go back to being just friends? That cruise, and then we went on another one after that. A couple months later, yeah. I put the pills in the yeah. middle, and you said, "Yeah." Well, um, what she's trying to say is, you know, you can't hide love, uh -huh. and you know, the heart started moving. But uh, regarding the cruising, you know, we talked about that when I had my business. And uh, everything we did take some cruises we looked for good deals yeah. and we got great deals uh, here in Florida because we didn't have to fly to a port they're all right here and if you go during the hurricane season you get the best deals and those ships don't go anywhere near uh, where storms are so we've had some beautiful weather never encountered any problems at all but yes so she loves cruising and the deal about cruising is if you go by yourself you still have to pay for two people because it's based on double occupancy. So Miss Tammy was generous enough to really pay for pretty much all of our cruising career. And um, they just became, what, what kind of a value is it, Miss Tammy? Oh, excellent value. You have all the food you want. You can eat at any time, nice restaurants all the entertainment uh live shows um there's discos there's uh karaoke just the entertainment so much and really good like broadway shows and stuff and everything and then we go on the largest ships that have the open uh aqua center aqua theater aqua theater in the back it's all oasis open. class and the people dive off the top and give these diving shows. Royal Caribbean. It's, yeah, only Royal Caribbean. And we are diamond members. Diamond members, yes. So we get four free drinks a day. Um, that means alcohol or Coke. Right, they charge you right. for Coke. When I did drink, I took advantage of that. Yeah, when you did drink. And she's not a very big drinker, so I took I would drink probably... One. I would drink one. Would drink I would seven. get her other three. Yeah. But, yeah, we're diamond members. But what she's trying to say that what we tell everybody about cruising is we very much promote it because as a minimalist, okay, before I hear the comments, you can cruise and you go to three different countries. You don't have to rent a car. You don't have to go out at a resort if you travel by airplane or travel somewhere in your car and then go find somewhere to eat and you only get the one entree on a cruise ship. If you want two steaks or two lobster tails or three shrimp cocktails or two desserts, you can just keep getting it. There's no limit in the buffets and the food is free. So where are you going to go? What, you guys No, I said we got uh, deals for Florida residents. Senior, senior citizen, senior citizen over 55. Cruise before, all kind of discounts. Yeah, previous passenger is called Crown and Anchor. And you get these discounts add up. And we didn't have to fly anywhere. We just drive there, park the car. But what it worked out to, what I'm trying to say is, a room today costs $150 for an average room. We paid, we, we, we wouldn't even cruise unless we could get a cruise that worked out to about $150 per day per person. And for that, we got a seven day cruise, twice a day made service, all the food we wanted to eat, uh, world-class entertainment. We didn't have to rent a car. We didn't have to worry about driving somewhere after drinking. We didn't have to pay for these shows. I mean, you're not going to go anywhere. You're going to get a room for $150 and you're like, okay, where are we going to go eat? Where's some entertainment? Then you're going to be out driving around traffic. And those people in the traffic, they're not on the same page as you are. When you walk around the cruise ship, everyone is happy. Everyone's doing the same thing. It is fantastic. What, 11, 12 swimming pools? Oh yeah. And the if you're, you're at the pool and you want something to drink or eat, they come around, they'll bring it to you. How do they treat you? Awesome. They bend over backwards to do everything for you. Make and you feel so rich. If you say like royalty. the bed is not soft enough, they'll come in, put extra things under it and yep. to make it soft. Anything, anything to make you happy. Anything. We want ice all the time, extra towels. They do it. 
So as you can, as you can, I want to go. <laughs> she's ready to go now. And just talking about it gets us excited. But that was probably, uh, as you can glean, what attracted her and I together. Like some people, they meet at their same job. Some people are in motorcycling or at the gym or different kinds of like-minded uh, recreational things. Well, when we started cruising and she invited me to come along, we both shared the same enthusiasm about it and enjoying those things together and being in such a fun, happy, uplifting, positive atmosphere where they do nothing but make you feel good. There's nothing that can bring you down. Right. We were like, hey, let's do this again. And the more time you spend with somebody, you know. So we ended up hitting off and look, she's easy on the eyes. Come on, what's, what's not hard to like about her, right? I, on the other hand, you heard earlier in the video, she didn't even have any, any use for me, but and he was I think- 21. <laughs> but I've changed her mind now and we do compliment one another and we're very, very happy. And um, the life that we have now is temporary. Uh, we do realize in the comments, a lot of you talk about, I'm in the camper and she's got the mother-in-law suite at her daughter's. It's because of the, of the economy and what happened and I lost my business and these kind of things, but we're working and she's working and we're saving and we're minimalist and we're not. We lived together for what, six years. Oh yeah, we were together for six years in Sarasota, you know, before moving a, uh, here to Palm Beach County. In a condo. In a condo. I think I've talked about it. So anyway, uh, that's going to be the future. You guys will be firsthand to know because as our life develops, I guess the YouTube channel is going to continue to share with you uh, about our lives and what we're doing and things that we are enjoying at Retired. Uh, Miss Tammy gets Social Security. I get Social Security. We're both earning. And on that, let me just add this a little bit off topic. People ask about the earnings limit. You know, it is 21,240. A few comments were lower than that. And remember, even the 21,240 is the adjusted gross income you're allowed to make. If you make 40,000, but you can get your income down because you're self-employed uh, in some kind of business, or, you know, you work for, uh, you know, you're a 1099 person, and you can deduct a lot of things, that is what your net income has to be. That does not mean, unless you're a W-2 person, and then of course you've got the standard deduction too. So don't think that you can't survive on Social Security at 62 years old, no matter what they give you, unless it's just nothing, uh, that that $700 you're gonna get more at 65 is gonna make that big a difference. The big difference to make it is what you're gonna make working. And working is good, it's healthy. I don't mean setting tile and digging ditches. I mean doing what you like to do for half as often as you need to do it because you've got this other money coming in. So on that note, what are we gonna do today, Miss Tammy? Crush it. Crush it.